that. So the big question here is whether or not the financial sector is really stabilized, and if so, what should you be doing in terms of your investing? Do you want to be buying into these bank stocks right now? We're asking Jeffrey Hart, Managing Director at Sandler O'Neill, and David Trone, Managing Director at Fox Pit Kelton. Good to see you guys. Good morning. So, David, one of the things that Sheila Bear just said, and, and you may have heard that, she said that loan balances, uh, in terms of what, what these banks have on their books, have seen the largest percentage decline since 1984. But that's a percentage decline, and we know, of course, they were lending like there was no tomorrow uh, in, in the last uh, couple of years. So that's almost to be expected. Tell me, if you're to look at how they're lending today, what is the most equivalent year? I mean, do you have to go back to 2004, 2003? What is it really like out there? Well, you know, that's a, that's a great question, actually. And um, th there is really no equivalent over the last really uh, probably 15, 20 years. You know, the banks right now are able to um, pick their uh, borrowers and... Um, they have a lot of uh, pricing power. They can pick the best borrowers. Obviously, so you're saying we have not seen them have this strict a lending policy um, for 15 or 20 years? Well, technically, you know, when you when you put it that way, that's that's according to the data, that's not technically correct. But it, conceptually, though, there, there's less competition in the market. Um, you have a lot of banks that are um, impaired more so than they have been in you know literally since uh, 1990. So um, a lot of banks are pulling back in their, in their lending um, decisions marginally. In other words, you know, a, a guy that you, or a small business you might have given credit to, you know, back in uh, 2004 or, you know, in 1994, um, you, you won't make that loan today because banks are, uh, number one, very risk averse. And number two, uh -huh. the demand is very low as well. So uh, the competition net-net is, um, in real terms, uh, probably as light as it's been uh, in, in a quarter of a century. Okay, Jeffrey, you know, on the one hand, it's, to a certain extent, good news that the banks are being a lot pickier about who they're lending to. On the other hand, certainly bad news for the economy. But talk to me about it from an investing perspective. As an investor, don't I like knowing that my bank is going to be much choosier about who they're lending to right now if I'm going to invest in them? Yeah, look, you know, the bottom line for loan growth isn't supply, what the banks are linked to lend, it's demand. Who wants to borrow the money? If you're going to give away free money with, you know, no documentation, like many banks were three years ago, you will always find people willing to take that money. You get in an environment where you just have normal underwriting standards, those that are kind of worthy to borrow here, for lack of a better term, simply aren't demanding it. So it, it really, I think what we need is GDP. You need the economy to drive loan demand before you're going to see banks start growing their balance sheets. It's not, it's not the other way around. Okay, let's talk real quickly about what each of you would buy right now as an investor. What do you like? Jeffrey. I, uh, you know, generally speaking, I think coming into the end of the year is not a bad time to be looking at financials because there will probably be some portfolio rebalancing at the beginning of the new year. I think you look at the money center banks, the large, big banks that have minimal CRE exposure. They've got the economies of scale. They've got investment banks, which I think are doing pretty well. So you look at certainly a Citigroup or a Bank of America for those with a higher risk tolerance, and that's the way I'm pushing people. Mm -hmm. But also, I mean, you know, the, the more conservative place. bet would be a, a J.P. Morgan. Okay, real quick, David. Yeah, we like J.P. Morgan, uh, Wells Fargo um, on the uh, on the bank side. You know, a mid cap name like uh, Jeffries on the on the security side. Okay, we got to leave it there. Thanks so much. We appreciate it, guys. Thanks.